Amazon Flex app and how it works. Let's go. The time has come for an update on how to use the Amazon Flex app. So here we are with a brand new look at it for 2021. You may or may not have watched my previous video, uh, which covered the app from 2020. Just about, I made that about a year ago today. It's October 2021 now, and the previous one was made in October 2020. It's been pretty successful, and I hope it's helped a few people out. And I thought, since the busy Christmas period is approaching for Amazon, they're bound to be taking on a lot of new drivers, and hopefully this video will be helpful for you. But you don't need to be a new driver to get help from this video. I've been doing Flex for a good few years now, four or five years. I would like to pass on some things that I know about Flex that you might not. I mean, you or you might know it all already, and you're just watching it for the sake of it. But anyway, whatever whatever reason it is, why are you watching this? I hope the video is helpful. We will kick it off now. By the time you get to this stage, you've probably, well, you should have already registered for Amazon Flex. You'll be accepted onto the program and you will have downloaded the app. If you haven't, then you need to apply for Amazon Flex and the application process is lengthy or can be lengthy. Uh, I've got a full video on this, uh, which I will link here. Probably. <laughs> if I can get the damn thing to work, I'm rubbish at, uh, at the whole putting the cards on. But anyway, that's that's a whole different thing. Uh, but I'll, I will put a link on and I'll put a link in the description. So if, if you are new to Amazon Flex and you aren't registered yet, there is a link in the description and it'll take you to where you need to go to register. But basically, we've got Amazon Flex here. You're already registered the program. You've been accepted. You've set everything up in the app. Let's go. So we we'll click on the app, on the app itself, on your phone, click it, and it'll show you the loading screen. There we are, the loading screen with that lovely lady receiving her parcel. The first thing that you're going to be greeted with here in 2021, which is different to 2020, is an updates page. I'll, please just ignore it. I'll be flicking between the screen I've got here and the camera, so, you know. Uh, so it has, it, it'll have a bunch of information on here. Um, the update page has tips on making delivery successful, how to behave around dogs. Um, don't take any chances, it says, so make sure you lock your vehicle every time you step away from it. You know, just common sense sort of stuff, but this is Amazon telling you it. So I guess they can tick a box. But anyway, so it tells you about age verified deliveries, you know, what you have to do to check the ID and everything. I'll let you have a look at this for yourself. It's on the screen, obviously. Um... Have a good read through those and at the bottom of that screen you'll see the update section is the one that's orange which means it's selected but next to that we can see schedule if we just click on schedule it'll take us here so the schedule then shows you if you have work booked in or not if you have it'll be listed here if not it will say you don't have upcoming work scheduled for today so if you had work scheduled you would see that here at the top you'll see again that safety is amazon's top priority Ensure your temperature's below 37.5 Celsius, 99.5 Fahrenheit to make sure you haven't got a fever, that you're not ill or, you know, carrying COVID. So if we have got work booked in, it will look like, like this. You'll see I've got work scheduled Thursday, October the 21st. It's the 18th now, so that's in a few days' time. Uh, from 1pm to 4pm, and that will pay £43.50 for the three hours work at the Sunderland Depot, DNE1. You'll also see it's got a postcode there, so you can stick that in your sat nav. You know, if, you, if you're not sure where you're going, you can have a look before you head off. So near the bottom of that screen, we will see the tab that says Upcoming Offers. Let's click Upcoming Offers. Now you'll see a list of available work. So at the very top there, top right hand corner, you'll see on this example, that was this morning at 7.42, you'll see that there's 18 of 19 offers shown. So... Look down the list, there's all sorts of work available. We've got logistics work here mostly. Sometimes there'd also be obviously Prime Now deliveries and whatever else is, Morrisons or whatever you want to do. Things here are a little different than they used to be in 2020. So there's been some improvements made on the app and some improvements in the way that you pick up work. Basically in 2020, this screen was usually empty or it certainly was for me anyway, it was usually empty. Whereas now, every time I click on here, um, every single time I click on, there's always work available on this app, always. I've never once been on here and there's been nothing shown. Whereas previously there'd be no work available and you end up having to swipe, 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 or click in the refresh button you see at the bottom of the screen, refresh, refresh, until the order offer come through and then there'd be dozens of people scrambling to get that work. I mean, personally, I've never scrambled for the work because 
Mostly I do flex, just something to do when I've got nothing else going on to make a few extra pennies. Uh, I haven't been doing very much Amazon flex work. In fact, in the last year, I've only done three or four blocks because I run a very successful uh, online retail business and I, I don't need the flex anymore. I mean, it's handy to do it every once in a while. Uh, and I do actually quite enjoy doing the, the deliveries. It's, it's really easy money as far as I'm concerned. Now, I do quite enjoy getting out on the road and making the deliveries. It's, 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 a, it's a real doddle. It's, it's a canny job. Anyway, so you can see the different offers here. Blah, 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 blah. We've got logistics, logistics, logistics. So they pay varying amounts and they're for varying amounts of hours and it's different times of day. So you can choose which work you want to do. You scroll down for the different days. So you know at the top here you show on Monday. If you scroll down, it'll show Tuesday and you know Wednesday, Thursday, whatever. The rest of the week. Now, previously you used to pick up reserves on a Friday afternoon. So a reserve is a job offer that's given just for you. They do still happen on Friday afternoons. I have done a full video on reserves. Again, I'll refer you to the playlist, uh, my Amazon Prime playlist, Amazon Flex playlist even, uh, where you'll see all sorts of videos detailing exactly how all this stuff works. We, I've, I've even got a video on how to complete a tax return with some basic information. Again, I'm not a tax expert, but I have done a lot of tax returns. I've been self-employed for the last 10 years plus. Uh, so hopefully that information would also be helpful to some people and I always like to engage with people in the comments so if you do have a comment just drop a comment and while you're here subscribe so like I say reserves do still drop on a Friday Saturday and Sunday but you can always pick up work in the mornings for sure and throughout the day a quick note on the different delivery blocks so we have as you can see the Amazon logistics that's basically delivering your basic Amazon orders parcels you know that just the normal stuff that somebody would order on Amazon so th those are like kind of usually longer routes and they pay a little bit more uh, then we have Prime Now which is kind of same day deliveries and groceries and other bits and pieces that Amazon delivers on the same day and then Morrison's which is obviously just grocery deliveries from Morrison stores um, again I've, I've, got, I do a full, I've got a full video detailing exactly what the different blocks are and with some hints and tips on doing them as well. At the top left section, you may notice stations. Above that, you'll see a little tab called filter. Let's click on filter. So on the filter screen here, you will see that there are six stations available to me. I've selected four of those. The other two being Morrison's blocks, which I don't even like doing, but Biker and Middlesbrough are both quite high from where I live in County Durham, so they're not worth doing for me. So the ones I've got selected here is Newcastle Gateshead Prime Now, which is Prime Now deliveries, as mentioned earlier. Then Amazon Logistics from NE10, which is DNE2. DNE2 is the uh, code that Amazon uses for that warehouse. Same as, see the Prime Now above there is UNW2, that's their code. Then we've got DNE3, which is another logistics station, and DNE1, which is another logistics station. So there are actually three logistics stations in my region. They're all very close to each other, uh, but they cover kind of different areas. Above that, you'll see when would you like to work. So mine's set from zero to zero, so it just, it'll show me hours around the. Uh, it'll show me work around the clock, because yeah, I'm not really bothered when I take a block if I wanted to take one since I run my own business anyway and I've got time whenever whenever I want to do it so but if you're if you can't if you've got a job say at nine to five there's no point in them showing your orders between nine to five uh, office between nine to five so you might want to set it from I don't know six p.m. to ten p.m. that you're available to work and it'll only show your office for then that's another improvement uh, previously in the app this didn't work at all you could set this to whatever and it would still show you all office anyway if we go to the bottom of this page, you will see see results. Let's click on that. When we click on see results, you'll go back to the office screen where we were just at before. In the top corner of the screen, you'll see I've circled that in red and drawn a brilliant arrow. You'll see a little menu button. If we click the little menu button, it'll take us to the main menu, which is like a side menu. So it starts up with updates at the top. That was the first page we were on, remember? Schedule, that's uh, your schedule for when you're scheduled to work. Offers, the page we were just on. Activity Hub, I won't go into too much details on the Activity Hub. It basically, it, it has your standing with Amazon. You know, it ha if you have any issues, it'll it'll be on there. But it's not a page that I ever use, to be honest. Um, I think you can earn badges and stuff like that as well. It's basically a waste of time, unless you're checking your status with Amazon. So if you've been late a few times, your status drops. But... 
again i've gone into detail of that in a previous video this is just an update video really so anyway so next up calendar that's an important one but first let's go to videos at the very bottom so the video section is basically a help section You'll see there Amazon Flex overview, safety reminders, what to expect on your first delivery, and so on. It's basically videos from Amazon that you're supposed to watch before you start doing deliveries. But most people don't, even though they are actually reasonably helpful. But you might, maybe you can't be bothered to watch them. But it's definitely worth your time to watch them. They will help you out. But anyway, back to the menu. So at the top there, back to the menu. And then let's click on the calendar. On calendar, you will see when you have work scheduled. So here you can see, I had that work booked in for the 21st, remember from the very start of the video, work scheduled for the 21st, which is denoted with a little orange dot as circled here. If we click on that, on the 21st, on the dot, it will take us to the details of that job. So again, you'll see it has the basic details as, as before, Thursday, October the 21st, one scheduled, and then the details of the block. If we click on that near where that arrow is, it will take us to more details of the job and where we're collecting from. And at the bottom of that screen, you will see forfeit this time. So if for any reason you wanted to cancel work, this is the way to do it. Go into your calendar, click the day that you want and click on forfeit this time at the bottom. You'll then be greeted with a red screen at the bottom, at the bottom of your phone. Well, uh, just before I carry on, actually, this is it's worth noting that this is on an iPhone. I have no idea what this is like on an Android phone. I've never used one. I use my iPhone for this and I've never used Android. I, I suspect it's similar or at least similar enough that you'll get the idea. So anyway, we're, we're back on here. It shows in red uh, to show that we're about to cancel work. So if you, if you don't want to forfeit, you click that don't forfeit button. If you do want to forfeit, you swipe the forfeit and it'll be gone. You'll go back to the calendar screen once you've clicked swipe the forfeit. And at the top there, you will see schedule update check your calendar for any confirmed blocks so and you'll see on the 21st it's no longer there it's gone so back to the menu screen another screen you might be interested in seeing is the earnings screen now this will show you how much money you earn from your blocks i've pasted up an old one here because you know it's from march 2020 and uh, I've, I've spliced in a bit there from december and november 2019 it's just just to give you an idea of what this screen looks like. So we, it shows you how much money was earned. And you can see there as well, uh, I think, oh yeah, there for Friday, November the 29th, there is an adjustment, excess block adjustment. So if you ever go over your time, if it takes you a bit longer, you can apply for an adjustment. Again, we can do that from the menu screen, help. And from there, you will have to follow the links. Again, I've got a full video on how to do this. And that's pretty much that. This is a basic update to 2021 for how to use the Amazon Flex app. For full details on how to use this app, you can refer back to my 2020 version of this video, which will be linked in the description. And it will be linked as a playlist at the end of this, the whole Amazon playlist, the Amazon Flex playlist. Um, so it has full details. This is just an update video. It was a really quick one. I whizzed through it. Um, if you do have any questions at all, Pop them in the comments. If I can answer them, I'll answer them. If not, I won't. <laughs> well, I'll tell you I can't. I wish you every success with Amazon Flex. I hope you enjoy doing the deliveries. I hope you earn a bit of money. I hope you have no problems with the app. But for now, do please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. I cover Amazon Flex, other business things. And I do have the odd opinion piece that I put on here as well, which you might want to watch or you might not. Either way, I'm fine with it. Um, but yeah, happy flexing. Catch you later.